Hi guys, it's Mercedes, and today I have a really quick review. Dun dun dun! This is a, <laughs> I think Kingston is the brand that I got this from. It is from Amazon. I had a $5 gift certificate for Amazon, and I spent it on this beautiful concealer palette. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, you have a really wide range. Ooh. There's a little hair in here. Ooh, from a makeup brush. Okay. You have a really wide range of concealer colors here, so you can use them, you know, you have contours, you have highlights, you have your green to offset your red. You've got a really nice glitter up here, which I think works really well. I used it as a glitter base, and it worked really well. And then down here you have a pink that helps offset, like, the blue under your eyes. If you guys want to see a demo of this product I will go ahead and do one just leave a comment say hey we want to see a demo so of how I use it um, the shades in here aren't bad this is the yellow shade this is good for brightening of course um, the green shade really creamy they're super creamy and almost wet if you leave them <laughs> on a hot surface. Um, what I like to do is while I'm putting on primer and doing my eye makeup, I leave it on my computer. And it warms it up so that they're extra creamy. They are pretty good even when they're like not, um, even when they're not warm, they're still good product. Um, they still are blendable, it's still workable. Um, I have been using this green to cover up a really bad spot I have. You can't even see it right now. If I point it out to you, right here, <laughs> you can see it. But, now I can touch it because, oh, now I want to touch it. Anyway, um, it concealed it really well. Like, you can barely tell it's there. And I used the green with a little bit of the, this one over of this concealer shade on top. The packaging is cheap. It's plastic. And then this is actually like a, a cardboard kind of. Kind of gross. <laughs> but it's, it's $5, you know, I spent on Amazon. And it was technically free because I had a gift card. Um, but they're really just... This is how they show up on the skin. Like I said, you can blend them out. I use my beauty blender usually to blend them. I put them on with my fingers and then I use my beauty blender to blend them out. My knockoff beauty blender. And you see, blended that out just a little. Um, there's no glitter in any of the shades except for that glitter base that I showed you um, up here in the corner. But these aren't as good as like my cream concealer by e.l.f., my HD Lifting Concealer. And I actually have heard that they make a lavender and a green shade too that I really would like to try um, and compare to these. But you can see like this is comparable to probably that shade. I think the other part of this that is a little rough is that these are more pink toned. If you had like a yellow undertone to your skin you probably wouldn't be a fan. And in order to get a lot of coverage for these, you have to build it up and then it kind of gets a little thick and cakey. And I know a lot of people are not a fan of the thick and cakey look, but it also is a pretty realistic, like it's not too bad either. So yeah, I put a little bit of those Concealer colors on the back of my hand in comparison to the e.l.f. concealer and That e.l.f. concealer is really dark. I didn't notice that before but You can see the e.l.f. one like really concealed that green on the back of my hand whereas that pink like the more pink one is still a little see-through and it's not bad um these really work well if you set them, especially I've been setting them with my coverall by Wet n Wild. And that's been working to set them. Um, these I set with my bronzer. They, the darkest shade here is just too dark. I don't know what I would ever use it on unless I was doing like black and white photography where you couldn't see that it was actually dark. 
But if I had a friend who was darker skin, she or even tan skin to use it as her contour, she might be able to use it. Um, these are a more orangey shade because they're supposed to be concealers instead of, you know, the, the slate gray kind of brown shades that you want to use for contour. But these could work for good, like, bronzing for the side of your face. Um, I did use it for that and it worked well, so. Out of five, the star range I give it is a three. Because I know that there is better stuff on the market. Um, and just, you can't really give it anything higher. It's great, it's good, but it's not, like, the best. And so that's why... I give it a solid three. So thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this, I will put the link down below like I do with all my really quick reviews. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.